Hi friends, welcome and welcome back to this week's sweet treat idea. If you're new to the channel, I am Alpha Dior. I give you guys different sweet treat ideas that you can easily prepare at home. I normally keep it simple for those of you who are not really cookers, not really bakers, but want to get in the kitchen and, and whip up something really sweet or something really good. So if you're new to the channel, that's what I do. I also um, dibble dabble in cooking, giving you guys different recipes. But for right now, I've been on a dessert streak. So that's where we're at right now, you guys. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. I appreciate the comments. I appreciate everything um, with you guys. You guys are you, the best. <laughs> you guys are the best. You guys support the channel. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So this week, you guys, we are going to be making a cream cheese chocolate chip cookie. Yep, you heard it. If you have never had this, try it. So what we're going to be using this week, guys, go ahead and get your cream cheese, any kind. It does not matter what brand. This particular brand here is from Walmart. If you can see, it's the great value. I am going to um, go ahead and do uh, have my cookie dough. Uh, out. It has already been thrown out a little bit. Um, it should be uh, ready by now. Of course, I got the canola oil. I have already sprayed my um, my baking dish um, here. I have some um, whole cashew nuts that we're going to go ahead and get them over into our, our um, food processor. But with the nuts, guys, any kind that you want to use is perfectly fine. You can use the walnuts, pecans, whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be using the cashews because that's what I have in my pantry. You don't have to go out and buy, um, all this, you know, stuff, whatever you have in your pantry, it, it works, uh, just as fine. Um, so yeah, guys, if you're interested in see how we're going to make these, um, cream cheese cookies, well, actually let me not say cookies because what we're going to do, we're going to, you're going to, um, put them over into our, our, uh, cupcake or muffin dish and we're gonna you know spice it up a little bit you know on this channel we do our own little spin but in the end it turns out perfect really good really scrumptious so without further ado let's get started okay you guys first things first we're gonna go ahead and get started with our nuts and again whatever nuts you would want to use but these are just cashew nuts we're going to go ahead and get these blended up. I'm not going to grind them too fine because I like to taste my, my pecans, my walnuts, my nuts in my cookie. So if you want to grind yours really fine, you can do that. But as you can see, they're kind of like a whole nut. And we're just going to uh, grind these babies up just a little bit. Not too much though. You guys may like yours really small, but I don't really like my cookie small, so we're not going to do them that small. I like to be able to taste the crunch in, in my cookie or my brownie. So in this case, I have just grinded it up just really, you know, small, not too much. Okay. Next thing we're going to do, you guys, um, is we're going to go ahead and get our cookie dough and we're going to get it over into the bowl because what we're going to do next is we're going to go here you go. We're gonna go ahead and get the cream cheese. So these are the cookies that I am using, and yeah, um, on the back, all you have to do is re really simple, you guys. All you do is just look at the back and it tell you you um want to place your cookies on an ungreased cookie sheet. But of course, me, I just I'm so anal. I just want to make sure they come out good. So I went ahead and sprayed some canola oil in the uh, baking dish, and you can. I've already preheated my oven, you guys, um, to 350. Um. And yeah, we're going to just put these bad babies over for like 15 minutes. Once we um, prep all of our ingredients, we're going to put them over in the oven for like 15 minutes. And believe me, these are yummy. So yeah, what I'm doing now is I'm just unpacking my cookie dough mix. You guys can see it comes, they come like this. Okay. And you just go ahead and um, pull them apart. And even though they're already in the cookie shape, we're going to put it, we're going to, um, Form in like a big ball and add our cream cheese and our nuts and stuff like that. If you if you are the type of person you guys that like to make stuff from scratch, you can do that as well. Um, I, I think I already have a video up with um, 
cookies that are made from scratch so if you want to go check that one out but i try to do you know stuff the easy way that way uh the viewers who are beginning bakers and stuff you guys can be able to um have these desserts as well you know without having to do everything homemade so we have our cookies over into our bowl if you guys can see that our cookies are in the bowl we have our chopped nuts now what we're going to do is first we're going to go ahead and we're going to um, knead these cookies neat like you know, like play with them and get it all together we're going to knead it a little bit and once we do that we'll come back and we'll do our cream cheese so if you guys can see i'm just putting them all together into a big ball like so if you're the type of person who don't like a lot of stuff on your hands you may want to have some gloves or something because it feels disgusting but <laughs> so all right so we've got our cookie together cookie dough all together we're going to put it back over into our, our dish let me wash my hands because i'm i'm that person who don't like a lot of stuff on their hands um so i'm just going to wash this off and then we're going to go ahead and add over our cream cheese Okay. So by the way, guys, these nuts, I just got like um, a half a cup of um, nuts, but you can put however much you want. Okay. And we're going to go in with our cream cheese. And again, whatever kind you want. Okay. And I'm going to get a spoonful of cream cheese. Put it over in there. Okay. And what I'm doing now is I'm just spreading it across the top and then I'm going to come and I'm going to fold this cookie dough over. Okay. You guys can see that cream cheese is in there. And go ahead and just start folding your cookie dough over. If you, you, if you like a lot of cream cheese, guys, go ahead and add two spoonfuls of your cream cheese. Okay. Now what we're gonna do, guys, we're gonna go ahead and pat the cookie dough down. We're gonna take our chopped nuts here and we're gonna go ahead and just put a little bit in the center. You guys can see that. I just put a little bit of nuts in the center. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go and fold, fold over again. Fold these nuts over into the um, cookie dough again. Okay, like so. Just folding it over. Okay. And then what we're going to do is you're going to go ahead and take your baking dish. And you're just going to go ahead and start getting you some scoops of cookie dough. You guys can see that. You guys can see that nut on there, how yummy. You guys can see that. We're just gonna drop it right in there, like so. Cool, quick, simple. <laughs> if you guys want them to be all the same size, you guys may want to use like an ice cream scoop, or you could just use a spoon, but right now we're just free, <laughs> free handing it or whatever. Okay. Here we go. You guys can see the speckles of nuts if you're the type of person you're allergic to nuts or you don't like nuts by all means you don't have to use the nuts <clears throat> it's just whatever works for you and to me the cream cheese it's just different and it gives it like a nice creamy taste <laughs> so we have three and we're just gonna keep going you guys just keep doing the same thing boom 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 nice little balls you guys can see that that's without the nuts go ahead and spin your cookie dough around in your nuts and you guys can see come up close you guys can see that nut in there these are going to be so good guys so hope you guys are having an awesome week <clears throat> today is sunday if you guys know i upload on sundays <clears throat> and yeah so i hope you guys like this recipe and get a chance to try it um, yeah, there's another one. Okay. 
let's see how many I can get um, out of here. I might maybe get like seven cookies, but of course it's just um, for the kids, so they don't need all of these cookies anyway. If I was gonna go to an event or take them out as a you know um, dessert for a party or something, I would of course make a bigger batch, but. I don't need a bigger batch because we don't need all these cookies. Fun fact, guys, all these desserts, it'd be just so much. I don't even get to finish it all. I just like, I love to bake. I love to cook. Um, so if you're one of those people, you can attest to what I'm saying. <laughs> so a lot of times I just make stuff just to make it. <laughs> um, and also I just make it for you guys. I just make it to give you guys idea. If you guys heard that noise, it's just the oven. <laughs> So, yeah, I just make it a lot of times just to give you guys different ideas of what you can do. But um, a lot of times I've been already made these desserts and, you know, um, yeah. Okay, so this is the last one. I was able to get nine, nine cookies out of here. Yeah. And if you just guys want to um, make more, just go ahead and double, double everything. You, I, I just showed you, just double it pretty much or triple it or however much you're making okay so i'm just washing my hands we're going to go ahead and get these cookies over into the oven remember 350 for about 15 minutes and yeah okay so i'm going to hold them up let you guys see if there's any dessert ideas guys you want to see me um prepare or any dessert ideas you guys can you know, put in the comments for my viewers. We can try it. It, it really, I, I love to uh, get you guys' ideas on different desserts. Um, but remember, we're making the desserts for everyone to be able to try them. So we don't want to go too complicated for everyone. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Okay. So you guys can see that. Mm. So they, they're, they're looking good now. So imagine when, when they get ready. So we're going to go ahead and get them over to the oven. And when they are done, I will be right back. Okay, you guys, so if you can see that, these look delicious. You guys can see um, the little speckles of cream cheese there. Yummy, 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 yummy. So to me, you guys, you probably can have these probably like, you can even have, I think, for like a breakfast little uh, treat with a cup of milk or a nighttime treat with a cup of milk. They came out really, really, really delicious. So I hope you guys get a chance to try them try them let me know in the comments if you like them um it, are you willing to try them um or have you already tried them um but by any means let me know what you think in the comments i will see you guys in next week's sweet treat idea um and yeah if you're new to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button later